internet, this is Will. Before turning the Microsoft Surface RT, I figured I'd take a quick video of it and compare it to um, some Ultrabooks. So this is the ARM version of the Windows Surface tablet. So it's got better battery life, um, but it does not run programs for Windows, uh, the regular version. So ARM currently doesn't support um, most things that were written for uh, Intel x86 architecture. So what that means is the only things that you can install are things from the Windows Store. But you're probably already familiar with this. Um, the keyboard for this thing, even though it's flat, is actually kind of fun to use, even though probably slower than a normal keyboard, um, but it's a very nice machine. I mean, I'm going to return it, as I said, uh, just because, you know, I need to be able to run Chrome so I can use Adblock Chrome extension so I don't see ads, um, but overall, the hardware in this thing is really nice. I like it a lot. Um, so it's got that built-in kickstand that I just had going. Um, it's got the magnetic charging port. It actually only works in one orientation this way. It doesn't seem to work this way, even though it fits, which is, oh, well, it says it's charging, so maybe I'm wrong. But uh, it's like this really nice metal. It gets fingerprints, but it feels really sturdy. Um, so it's got a front and rear video camera, um, and overall, it's a, it's a really nice panel. I'm sure it's IPS. It looks good in pretty much any direction, etc. Um, as I said, the keyboard works really well. Um, this has a an HDMI port on the side and a full USB. So this is micro HDMI, which you can buy a cable um, that will hook up to your TV for literally a couple dollars online. Um, so this is kind of everything you would want in a tablet with the built-in kickstand and with the magnetic keyboard. Um, as I said, you know, you, you can only use apps that are made by, or that are in the Windows Store. Um, I won't really look too much at uh, Windows 8 in this video, just because you probably already know about it. Um, it's pretty similar to 7, except it's got this Metro-style UI for the start bar. Um, so, like, Netflix, for example, is a much better viewing experience and user experience than on the regular desktop version of Windows um, because they have more dynamic previews, you can read descriptions um, while you're looking at things in just a better way. So some things are definitely optimized for tablets and there's definitely a place for tablets or for this sort of tablet metro style. Wikipedia app is really fun because it will show you things that happened on this day in previous years and just kind of a, an overall richer experience than when you're using a regular website. So, um, so I definitely like it for that reason. I don't know if you can see, but so it's, it's fun. I mean, most of you probably have tablets. I personally don't like to have to maintain so many different devices, so I generally only have a computer and a phone. Um, but uh, I wanted to do this review because I just got into Lenovo Yoga today and it's really awesome. And I always thought it was kind of overkill having a tablet and a laptop. And I think this thing actually finally fixes it. It's over here, we'll get to it in a second. Um, this is my old machine. It's a 16 gigabyte, uh, 15 inch Samsung Ultrabook. So I upgraded it like personally from eight, which is the max it's available for, to 16 just for fun, because it only costs about 60 bucks. But this is a really nice machine, um, USB 3, HDMI out, etc. About eight hours of battery life, um, and just overall really solid construction. Really nice trackpad and keyboard. Um, my only problems with it were it's kind of sharp on the edges. So if you're using it on a plane or in bed or something, it kind of hurts your wrist a little bit. Um, and uh, because it's so sturdy and hard, it actually feels really heavy, even though it's only about 3.5 pounds. As I said in an earlier review, and it's kind of long. I mean, it's 16 by 9, so when you're holding it like this, it, it just I don't know, it feels kind of heavy. 
Um, it's all around a really nice machine. If you're looking for an ultrabook like this, though, I recommend the 13-inch version, probably, because this guy is just super portable, really nice, really great build quality, um, etc. This is my girlfriend's. But uh, the new kid on the block is the Lenovo Yoga. And I saw this at CES in January, and I kind of made fun of it because at the time it didn't have SATA 6, and it was a little bit heavier and thicker than the Samsung Series 9, which I had picked out as the best Ultrabook. Um, but the guy who was demoing it told me that you know it could, it could do a few things that uh, nothing else could. And one of those things is, well, really the only thing, but it's quite important, is the ability to flip entirely around, turning it into a tablet. Now some reviewers complain that the keyboard is exposed, but it is in embedded and indented. So what touches the tabletop or your lap is the edge. So it actually doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I, I'd have to say, this finally bridges the gap. Um, really, its only competitor is that silly Dell thing with a swivel screen. And I, I personally really, really don't like it. Um, I think it's, it's just a poor design, even though I've typically been a Dell fan. Um, but this guy is just is perfect. Um, and I do have a couple quibbles with it, I'll tell you about in a second, but overall, I mean, this is, this is the answer. Um, it's 3.4 pounds, 0.67 inches, it's got USB 3, um, it's uh, upgradable to 8 gigs of RAM, this is the 999 Best Buy version but I'm gonna upgrade it in a second. But uh, basically being able to convert it into a tablet or just hold up whatever you're watching here is just, is just really nice. I mean, I don't know if you watch anything in bed or on the plane, but being able to switch how you're looking at it is really key in my opinion. And obviously it comes with Windows 8, so you've got your traditional desktop, uh, kind of Windows 7-esque experience, you can install any kind of app, um, but you also have the Windows 8 Metro and you can install stuff from the Windows Store um, and use this thing as it's intended, um, as a touch screen. And so web browsing is really nice and you can draw things, etc. cetera, um, and, and really put Windows 8 to use. Um, I have Windows 8 on my other devices that don't have touch screens and it's just not really worth it. Um, there isn't really an uh, extra benefit to it. But this guy is, is awesome. And the other thing I like about it is the sort of fake leather feel. It actually just like feels really nice. So it's not sharp, doesn't hurt your hands. It's, uh, it's soft and more pliable, but at the same time, it's quite sturdy. Um, the only concerns I have about it are, well, it's definitely thicker. I mean, even in this 15 inch, it's, it's definitely thicker. Um, this is a 13.3 inch with a 1600 by 900 resolution, um, which is honestly fine. You don't really need more than that. Um, but it's definitely a little bit bigger than some competitors. But at the same time, there's just really, there's no competition. Um, there's nothing out there that, that converts in this way. And honestly, having a big tablet is just way better. Um, yeah, it's less portable, but I mean, realistically, you could get a seven inch if you want, or get a normal size, like Galaxy S3 style phone, and, uh, and then use this guy when you know, you've got the space to use it. Um, so overall, I'm very pleased with it. The charging port is this nice kind of USB shaped port, and it, it works in both you know, going in both ways. Um, so it's a little bit more, I guess, standardized. It's not quite as good as the magnetic one on Windows Surface, but, uh, but it's good enough. And there's actually a full HDMI port right here next to the USB 3 port. So it's, it's a really well-equipped device. And overall, I mean, this is definitely the way to go. Having something that's convertible like this and, uh, and still kind of heavy duty and durable. 
Um, my only other concern with it is that I hear the fans sometimes, and it gets kind of hot. Um, and I guess that's the trade-off when you go with something that's a little softer, that's not this kind of heavy-duty metal that we see in a Series 9. You know, these guys don't get as hot, but at the same time, they're, they're kind of cold and harsh um, because they're entirely metal. But kind of just wanted to go on here and, and uh, say, yeah, this surface is really nice hardware. I like it. I would consider getting the full Windows 8 version when it comes out in a couple weeks, um, the one where you can install any app. Um, but uh, honestly, if you can get something like this, this is the better option, I'd say. So yeah, anyway, let me know if you have any other questions about this. I'll probably take some more photos and post it on my blog later on. But I uh, hope, uh, hope this was useful for you. Peace.